Hey, JaguarBombmanTrain.com. Just got done a pretty good workout in the sweat box here. No, no fan in here. Doors are shut. It's a fucking sweat box. It's fucking Death Valley. It's hot as shit, humid, fucking sweat all over the fucking floor. But it's okay. They're stall mats. They're for animals. Doesn't make a difference. Anyhow, uh, what I did, I made the video earlier where I did, I combined deadlifting and farmer carries or farmer walks with my trap bar, 220 pounds. I deadlifted 10 times, carried it 10 yards, deadlifted 10 times, carried it back, deadlifted 10 times. Grip failed, it's hot, bar gets sweaty. I, didn't, I don't use chalk or anything like that, or wraps. So under my own power. I was hoping to get 40, oh well. You know, so, and you know, it doesn't make a difference because it's still where I was, and I haven't done them in almost a year, I believe. I think the last one I did was eight months ago, maybe. I mean, I might have done one before that, but I'm, I'm pretty sure eight to 11 months ago was the last time I actually did that. So, haven't lost anything. And last time I did it, I think for that many, it was fall. So, hands weren't really sweaty, but excuse or not, whatever. I did 30, still a fucking good workout, still tough to do. Most people aren't going to deadlift 10 times, carry it. Deadlift it again, carry it back, and it's just not going to happen. Now, if I would have done straight, I might have got 45 or 50 without walking with it, which would have been an awesome accomplishment with 220 pounds, me being at 165, whatever I am right now. After that, you know, I rested a little bit, carried it back in the garage, in the gym, and I, I did a bag workout. So I did one minute on the bag, one minute on the double end ball, Okay, I don't know. You can see the double end ball back there. It's on the other side of the flashlight there. Let me, let me get that out of the way. See the double end ball back there? Okay, this thing. I use that. So one minute on the bag, one minute on that. Just nice, nice shots, nice shots for 20 minutes. And then I finished off in the last 10 minutes with step ups and jumping rope. No rest except to switch over to the exercise. So I did 10 step ups with 60 pound, 60 pounds, 30 pound dumbbells in each hand and jump rope 50 times. So I finished off in 10 minutes and 27 seconds, whatever I finished off jumping rope 500 times and a 100 step ups. Now, I know a lot of people don't know, but when you do 30 reps, high reps, like with 220 pounds and you know, it doesn't seem like a lot of weight, but you know, it can really work on your hamstrings and your lower back and then try step ups and things like that. So anyhow, for the whole 30 minutes, there was no rest except for the switch. Now, I drank my water after I got done the workout. So full 30 minutes, sweat and pouring off me, shirt soaked, wasn't, didn't need to drink water. Okay. So many people can't walk around the block without a little bottle of water. Boggles my mind. We were kids. We rode our bikes all day. Okay? To the next garden hose. Okay? We didn't have plastic water bottles or anything like that. At least I didn't, or we didn't at that time. Well, I drink out of these. Stainless steel. I don't drink out of plastic water bottles. I don't cook with plastic, usually. If I do, it's rare. So many people complain about testosterone. Well, these are one of the reasons they complain about it. You don't need to eat or drink out of plastics. So you can eliminate that, okay? Um, the way you clean yourself, putting deodorant on or putting uh, uh, cologne, I can't help. You know, a lot of men love to wear cologne. Can't help. Can't, can't help with testosterone. You know, you know, people putting sunscreen on, toxins. How the fuck can that help? You know, there's a lot of things people do that they don't really need to do, and they do it. And the things that they do now, we didn't really have, okay? We didn't have sunscreen back then. Nobody was really down to uh, skin cancer either that I can remember. Um, you know, we drank out of garden hoses that were sitting in the... Nobody seemed to have a problem with testosterone, okay? Maybe it's because guys and kids stayed outside more. Maybe they worked more. Maybe they uh, took their shoes off and ran and with bare feet and up and down the yard like I like to do. Uh, you know, I just like to do things that maybe I used to do as a kid. Because, you know, I grew up in a house that had lead paint, no doubt. Probably uh, uh, asbestos. Probably went to school with asbestos. 
And somehow we all remain to keep our testosterone pretty decent. You know, it comes from, you know, you know, we weren't eating every five, every five minutes. We weren't eating uh, 12 times a day. We weren't eating six small meals a day. We were eating usually three meals, if that. Well, yeah, usually three meals and maybe a snack. So let's say four times a day you might be eating and running around the whole other time, okay? Um, we used deodorant back then. I have never used uh, cologne or aftershave. I just never have. I think it's perfume for fucking men, so not really into it. Um, there's a lot of shit I don't do that most society does, and I'm not really into it. And doing these workouts where I'm sweating it out and everything, and I don't need to take a drink of water uh, for 30 hard minutes without resting, you know, we're not going to, most of us are not going to fall over and die walking around the block, okay? Um, but that's what we have today. Everybody has it easy. Everybody wants the easiest way, okay? I do have some things I like to buy and purchase and stuff like that to use once in a while. You know, I'll use plastic stools for step up sometimes. Uh, I got old benches I use. I mean, you can find most shit to work out with. Go outside, carry some stuff around. You don't need any of this shit. Like years ago, I did thousands and thousands of calisthenics on a regular basis. You know what? I was always strong, but I can tell you right now, it didn't help me with strength. It helped me with conditioning. And that's probably it, about it. I was strong with doing other things, but it never improved my strength. Uh, that I didn't think, you know. And it was a waste of time for me, I think. I think that just wasting your time just going over and over and over again, it just took a long time. And I just didn't really want I just don't want to do that anymore. I don't think it's necessary. I live a pretty active life. Most people do not live an active life. There's guys out there that think that you have to go running in a pair of sandals, you know, uh, you know, to make it more like you. Well, I don't know where you came from. I don't know, but I just more live like, I just try to live like a man, you know, a man and, and doing the things that I think men would be able to do. You know, men should be able to fucking throw their hands. Men should be able to wrestle. Men should be able to lift some shit and carry some shit. Men should have what I call conditioned strength. Men should be able to do physical things. Men shouldn't be afraid of altercation. Men should be able to handle themselves if a confrontation happens. Men should be able to fucking uh, stand up and fucking defend their family. Men should be able to just get outside and do what they need to fucking do. Okay. I've said it before. Guys go to the gym, get hurt, spend time on inf Instagram or wherever they do complaining about how bad they're hurt. Well, other guys chime in and say how bad they're hurt. And, and it just fucking shows their how fucking weak they are. And then they most of their jobs are probably sitting on their ass. And then they get out and they, they, they make a simple movement outside, twisting their back. And they're fucking, they throw their back out. They sneeze. They throw their fucking back out. You know, this is not functional. That's not a functional fucking man. It just isn't. Okay. I'm not saying you got to be able to beat everybody up. I'm not saying you got to be able to, you know, out wrestle everybody and take jujitsu. But you do not have to be able to handle yourself. And if you can't handle yourself, you need to learn how. Okay, it's just the way it is. You got to do, I said, which benefits your lifestyle. Um, thousands of calisthenics no longer benefit my lifestyle. Uh, it really didn't really contribute to anything other than I stayed in shape. But now when I do my push ups, I, you see, I do all my knuckles, I hold, I do isometric holds, I don't do as many. But you know, those, the, those short isometric type. Man, they really work. They really fatigue the muscles quickly, okay? Where I don't have to rep out, rep out, rep out to get fatigued. I can do it quicker, less time. I'm, I'm still working my explosive. You can do explosive by doing grass drills, running backwards, frontwards, doing a few burpees with those runs, you know, hitting heavy bag, hitting the speed ball. I mean, there's a lot of things. You go out there and just do natural fucking living that we used to do, and you'll be explosive enough, Okay. You know, athletics, you know, play a sport, go out there and, uh, you know, we used to, I used to play Sandlot football all the time, every Saturday or Sunday until I moved up to Pennsylvania. Nobody up here seems to do them things, you know. Um, when I was riding my bike, I'd hit the hills as much as I could and just nothing but hills. I didn't want any flats. I wanted hills, man. I wanted to work that, my fucking quads and my, my lungs and my heart. You know, I want to do things that are going to benefit me and my family if shit goes down. I don't want to be out there fucking hurting myself when I need to be fucking functional. Okay, so that's why I train in a fucking Spartan-like garage dungeon, which like I always have. 
this has got more lights than most of my garages I've trained in or, and, uh, but again, you know, half hour sweating and I didn't need to have a drink. So think about how soft and how weak we've gotten. Try to get a little tougher because, you know, we don't, we live in a time, man, where everybody is just fucking weak. We're giving away every fucking thing. We're giving our fucking rights away. We're giving our fucking freedoms away. And, you know, we need to have fucking people that are going to be strong and be able to stand the fuck up. I mean, let me tell you something. If you think there's people out there that are marching or standing up, the only reason they're standing up because they're fucking more than one. Okay? It takes more. If they, if they were in, isolated, they'd be the biggest fucking pussies crawling up in the fetal position crying for their fucking mothers. Okay? There's only strength in these fucking numbers. Okay? And us men, for some reason, the fucking guys that are telling everybody how tough they are and things like that, don't really show it. They just don't show it. Later.